2021 and 2022, my Bensonhurst Purple Fig Tree produced beautiful figs. However, late spring of 2023, there was an unexpected frost that killed the branches. Thankfully, I took cuttings of this tree. Let's take a look at what is happening now in March 2024. Hello and welcome to Catherine's Garden and Home where we grow, 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 grow together. Well, it is a cloudy day here in March. It's March 15th, but I wanted to take a look at my fig trees that I had planted before and to see how they're doing. I tucked them away over here in the garden and I want to see how they are faring through this time. You can also see my grapevine that is there and of course the crocus that are coming up here. These are the two Bensonhurst sticks or starts that I had and started them last year during the winter and now at this time in March, March 17th, they're looking very, very good. They look vital. I can see that they have um, some green in them and I tucked them away so that they could be protected from the cold and right now they're looking pretty good um, I am really happy to see how they look so what I did was I put them in this pot this second pot but the first pot the original pot that they're in is this here proven winners pot and then I put some leaves on top of them and I tucked them behind here behind this area where you can see the arborvitae is to protect them over the winter. They're looking pretty good as I said. Uh, they have a appearance of, of green. They still the bark looks good and they have really good form so I am excited to see this with my two that I started that I propagated here from sticks <laughs> Hello, hello, hello there, and welcome to Catherine's Garden and Home, where we grow, 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 grow together. Well, I am so excited to share with you my three different fig trees that I started from a stem cutting.
everyone welcome to Catherine's garden and home it's so good to be with you today i hope that all is well with you i hope that things are going well for you by the way my name is Catherine, and yes you're here with me in my home and i have something very exciting to share with you that i have been propagating uh fig cuttings this summer uh 2020 to summer I uh, cut some of the fig leaves and uh, stems and I was creating a bouquet for you my gardening friends and from that the fig stems uh, started to root and I was so amazed with the process one of the priorities that I have for this year is to propagate uh, different um, shrubs and fruit trees and different things to really extend the garden with more food so propagation is one way that I'm going to do that and it was so easy to propagate these um, beautiful fig cuttings I'm going to show you how the fig tree produced for 20 21 uh, it was so beautiful i had so many figs they were very tasty and it, it was so prolific i was able to make jam and do different things with the figs because there was so much um so much production of figs on the fig fig tree it was actually like a branch or bush and uh, it just multiplied and multiplied it was just beautiful <laughs> It is so good to have it finally ripen. So, you know what else encouraged me is when I saw this picture of a ripe fig. And it just encouraged me because it made me realize that my fig was looking like this. Partially green with the purple um, bottom. And I'm so glad I went by and squeezed the fig, feeling it and feeling its softness and its ripeness. So it says here to harvest, harvesting, pick figs when showing good color. Do not let over ripen, do not let it over ripen on tree. Remove tough portion of stems from each fig and run underwater well I didn't run anything underwater but it tasted good the whole thing was soft and delicious so I'm excited about that and there are some more on the tree so that's a good thing the other thing that I'm looking at here is that I think I can propagate these figs and since I've had the success with this fig I think I'm going to um, propagate it and put it in other parts of the garden and see if I'll have any success there it, it looks easy enough yeah so I'm so happy about that yep it's called the Hardy Bensonhurst purple fig one of the priorities that I have for this year is to propagate uh, different um, shrubs and fruit trees and different things to really extend the garden with more food. So propagation is one way that I'm going to do that. And it was so easy to propagate these um, beautiful fig cuttings. Last year, I used my journal, the Intentional Gardening Journal for 2022, to help me to be more intentional um, in what I want to do for uh, the garden season. So I then decided to produce the next one, the next edition, which is called Moments to Dream Again, the Intentional Journal for 2023. And one of the priorities that I have for the garden is to produce food, one. And the other one is to propagate different shrubs and different things that I would like to see added to my garden that have been successful. 
and I know that they will grow and that they will produce. Well, the fig tree is definitely one of those uh, trees or shrubs that have produced for me here. Uh, yes, it took a little bit of time, but I know that I'm able to get success. So one of the priorities, as I said, is to propagate uh, and to create more food. And the figs are so delicious.
Here is my very first fig on my fig tree. The purple fig. <laughs> Bentonhurst? Benhurst fig. And it is ripe. I touched it and it feels very much like it is ready to be harvested. So I promised you all that I would harvest it now and it said not to leave it too long um, and touching it here you could feel the softness so I'm going to just kind of twist it off oh it came off really easy and I'm going to share it with you all um, I'm going to eat it isn't that beautiful and like this one here is a turning right too. I think I have like that one and this one here. Those two look like they're almost ready to be eaten. And that's a good thing. I think I see on this side over here that these two are also that one. And oh yes. Here. And this one also. So it looks like I'm going to have quite a few figs to eat and sample, but this one is the first one. And I'm going to open it up and we're going to taste it and see what it tastes like. Are you ready for some figs? <laughs> Are you ready for some figs? Yes, I'm ready for some figs. <laughs> so, here is the fig. All right, so here is the fig, and um, it's it's really soft. It has already begun to uh, break open, so I'm going to break it open here. So that you could see the interior. Wow! That is so beautiful. That's what it looks like inside. Um, and I'm going to give it a try. Here we go. Mmm! It is sweet. Mm. <laughs> it actually tastes good. I love how it tastes here with fig. You know, you know what it tastes like? It tastes like um, grape jelly. Have you ever tasted like Welch's grape jelly? That's what this tastes like. This fig, and it's sweet. Wow. It's actually very, very good. So, <laughs> I've been able to sample my first fig here. Absolutely beautiful. Mm. It's really good. I'm amazed at the flavor. Mm, good. So I have been able here to sample. I am sampling the fake and it is really, really good. I just wanted to share with you the name of the fig tree. It's called the Hardy Bensonhurst purple fig and it looks like that inside and I oh, when I opened up the fig and I saw it look like this I knew that we we're on to something thank you for joining me here at Catherine's garden and home where we 
grow, 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 grow together. And if you are interested in learning more about propagating different shrubs and fruit trees and things like that, know that that is one of the focus that is going to be here at Catherine's Garden and Home LWS. And you can meet with us on Wednesdays, Wednesdays at 5.30pm p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We're going to discuss different things, different topics, and we're also going to do some planning in our journal. So get yourself a notebook. You could either get my journal or get yourself a notebook in which you can write down your thoughts and start to determine what is going to be your priority for your garden this year. What are you going to be intentional about growing in your garden this year? And know that that's just going to help you to be more focused, more determined, and you'll get great success. All right, so come and join me here at Catherine's Garden and Home where we grow 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 together this is the original mother plant that i planted a while back and they are it is looking good as well um, it had died back this was the branch from a while back i guess two years ago when it was looking really healthy and forming like a tree but then we had a cold spell and it died all the way back. And now we have it growing here and it's looking pretty, pretty good. I am hoping that I will be able to have figs this year because it started to fig out. And these particular branches are looking good. You can see that they have some nodes here and I'm just hoping that the nodes will produce what I am going to do though is I'm going to cut these small branches here and put them in water and see what we get I'm going to experiment with these branches and cut them and put them in water and see if I can propagate some more figs. Here are the fig branches that I have cut and I'm going to put them in water and we're going to see what happens to them. And I tried to cut close to a node. I might trim them again so that they're close to a node, like this one's good, close to a node in this one here. And also at the tips, they seem to have a little life at the tips. So I think that will help in the process as well. I'm going to put them in some water and in a sunny spot in the house and we'll see what happens. So let's continue to watch to see. I might end up with one, two, three, four beautiful fig trees, um, Bensonhurst fig trees, and I have those wonderful containers there that I can put them in and I may be able to get some more containers. Uh, that would be great to have them and instead of growing them in the ground, grow them in the pots. So stick with me, come on and join me here at Catherine's Garden and Home where we grow, 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 grow together. Come and join me here at Catherine's Garden and Home where we grow together and come out and check out my fig tree uh, branches and see if I am going to be successful. But the only way you can do that is if you hit the subscription button and hit the notification bell for more videos. The crocus are in bloom, the sun is shining, and the rest of the bowls are about to come up. So why don't you go ahead and subscribe to Catherine's Garden and Home for more videos and enjoy the season, this 2024 with us. Thank you so much. And I know you'll hit that button even right now. It's 
a beautiful windy day here in my garden and the sun is shining. It's about 54 degrees here on this day. And so I am going to plant my onions that I have here, the onion starts. I'm gonna plant them in right here in this side of the bed. And so I'm gonna put the onions here. I'm gonna add some topsoil there, some compost to help them out with. And here, this is my garlic that I planted and they are looking very, very well here in the garden, the garlic. So I'm going to plant the onions on this side. I'm going to add some topsoil, land and garden soil conditioner to this section here that I just cleared away because I just want to give it a little boost and I'm going to just cover this whole area here. Um, I think I'm going to line out the bulbs here and just let them fill this corner, this section. I could even go down to this area too. I have here, I had some little seedlings there, but I think I'm going to take them out and just use this whole space here just to um, plant the onions. This here is Swiss chard that I had grown before and it is doing very well, the Swiss chard there. But I think I'm gonna just cover the whole area here with the onions, this whole side here. And they'll get plenty of sun. And I have third I have 90 sets. So that's a lot of onions to cover this space. The instructions tell me the easy plant, when to plant, and where to plant. This is select a sunny spot with rich, well-drained garden soil, high in organic, in organic matter. There we go. Mm. Yeah, high in organic matter. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose the onions that are big and it says to press it in so this just covering like that. So I'm going to pick all of the ones that are firm and whose points are pretty big and just press them in like that. And even this one that's already starting, I'm gonna just give it a chance here. Yeah, so that looks good so far as I just continue to plant them in. These are kind of small. So I'm gonna just put the small ones together uh, and leave space for the big ones.
There are a lot of little sets here. But I'm trying to just make sure that I plant the big ones. These little ones, I'm just going to just scatter them in here. And whatever will be, will be with them. You know, just kind of put them together like that. Well, I finished, clean up the area a little bit here. And so I have the garlics and I have the onions right in this area here. And I think that it's going to be really nice to have them here because this gets a lot of sun. And so by the time the onions are ready to harvest, I'll be able to put other things there. But in the meantime, they will get a lot of good sun. And I also added that compost or topsoil so they'll get some nutrients. And I kind of cleaned up these kale a little bit so that they will look good. And I think that uh, this area, I'm going to really think about what else I want to plant here definitely the tomatoes and um, we'll just see what else happens but this makes me feel good I feel like I've um, accomplished something so this is what the kitchen garden area looks like and I have the garlic in and also the onions and I kind of Helped out the kale a little bit there, moving the spent leaves. I also see that my day lilies are coming up here. And over here in this corner area, I'm starting to see my, um, my lemon balm. I cleared this area and set the lemon balm free. So my lemon balm is, going, is coming up here nicely. And I can also see some other things coming up as well. It's still early in the season. Yes, it's March, but here in the Northeast, it's kind of still cool at night and it's warming up. It's 54 degrees today. We've been getting a lot of rain. So things are starting to shoot up, but still, uh, I don't want to be too hasty with anything. But I am very happy with what I see happening here. And then right here, this is lemon, this is a uh, bee balm coming up. See my bee balm? Yeah, the bee balm. So that's beautiful. On this beautiful spring day in March, my crocus are open, looking as beautiful as ever. I love the different colors, the white and the purple, some are striped, and many of these are volunteers. I just planted a few bulbs and over time they have multiplied and they've spread all the way over here to this spot and then Hello and welcome 
to Catherine's garden and home where we grow, 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 grow together. Well, this is March 9th here for 2024. And tomorrow is going to be Sunday, which we will be springing forward in time. And then later on will be the first, um, the switching of the season. We will be moving from late winter into early spring. And already you can see in the garden that the tulips are coming up, the tulip leaves. You can see the, the daffodil leaves here as well. And the garden is a little rough. We're still doing a lot of garden cleanup and changes, but the tulips that I planted in the ground are coming up and they're looking pretty good the other thing i want to show you is this that this is a chrysanthemum a garden mom and so far it has survived the winter and it's greening up hopefully we won't have any freezes or anything like that but it's coming back and so that means that i'm going to have um early mums coming in naturally developing from um, the garden mums so there's a lot still to do here in the garden but um, I'm excited to see things sprouting already and then back here you can see my daffodils coming up because I call this my daffodil lane and already the daffodils are, are coming forth. They're peeking through. Now I hope that my hydrangeas will flower this year. I can see that the rhodos, the rhododendrons are looking good. I don't see any buds on that one, but on this one down here, I see some blooms here, buds at the top. So it looks like I'm gonna have a lot of flowers from this one, hopefully. And I can also see the daffodils coming up here all along the lane. So that's a good sign. But as you can see, there is a lot of work to be done here in the garden. A lot of sticks and things because we've had winds and rain and a lot of garden cleanup is still before us. But it's exciting to see that the daffodils will be showing themselves soon some beautiful blooms here in the garden over at this side of the garden the crocus always come up first and they always flower first so we see our patch of crocus here and already we have color if it was a sunny day it would be open this flower but it's not sunny so it's closed but we can see that we're going to have a color soon here in this bed the daffodils are setting up here too in this side bed and i could also see my bearded iris coming up starting to leaf out and different things are showing up here in this bed of course there's still work to be done here a lot of work 
it's been kind of chilly so i have been indoors and not really out yet because it is still early march uh, but uh, it is time to get busy because soon we're going to have a lot of color and i have my little rabbit there he's holding the fort this is an early easter time but yeah, he's there, and I have my other one over here, and we can see that the tulips are starting to open up, and soon we will have a display. Oh, wow. The crocus is starting to show up here on this side of the garden. We just had a lot of rain um, for the last couple of days and that rain is definitely bringing out the blooms. I did start to clean out this area and I'm so glad I did and then cover the crocus and the tulips that are in this bed and so now they have space. Uh, but as you could see, I have so much to do, but look at that. Soon we'll have a lot of color here. I'll be able to show you a, a lot more, but you could think of this as the before, and then later on we will have the after. You're going to be amazed at how this garden is going to just transform into something amazing. I wanted to just show you here how the day lilies are coming up and then also my collard greens have survived the winter look at that they look so beautiful the collards and then also I have here the garlic so in this area i'm going to be planting my um my onions here right here i have the garlic that i planted earlier in uh, last year mm -hmm. and then i have the chives coming up over there in the corner but right in this bed this section i'm going to be planting some onions onions that i got um, and I think they're going to do well here in this section. This has been my kitchen garden area, but I'm going to try something new by putting the onions here with the garlic. And that's my blueberry bush. So things are looking a little, you know, wild and uncut, but yet there is so much life. Um, I'm excited about the possibilities here. Here you can see the tulips coming up and the roses seem to be doing fine. Oh, and my roses are starting to bud up already that's amazing there is a lot of cleanup to be done
on this beautiful spring day in March. My crocus are open, looking as beautiful as ever. I love the different colors. The white and the purple. Some are striped. And many of these are volunteers. I just planted a few bulbs and over time they have multiplied and they've spread all the way over here to this spot and then to this spot right here. The crocus are in bloom, the sun is shining, and the rest of the bulbs are about to come up. So why don't you go ahead and subscribe to Catherine's Garden and Home for more videos and enjoy the season, this 2024 with us. Thank you so much. And I know you'll hit that button even right now. Well, if you like this video, then like share and subscribe comment down below have you ever propagated figs and fig leaves you know fig sticks <laughs> i don't know what to call it but have you ever propagated them and have you been successful in uh, growing more trees let me know comment down below and if you like videos like this i'm asking you to hit the subscribe button hit the notification bell for more videos and um, enjoy have a good day bye see you next time right here at lady wisdom no see you next time right here at Catherine's garden and home where we grow 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 together For more videos, like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. And thank you so much for watching. 
See you next time right here in Catherine's Garden. Bye.